I just tell you that I grew up watching you guys on like Seventh Heaven and pretty much everything you've ever done. So this is a big moment for me. You guys look great. You're being honored tonight. How does that feel? It feels great. You know, I mean, it's I've been saying it, but it's it's a very humbling experience. Yes. You know, it, it really is to be a part of something like this, to be honored for something like this, and and to you know see the people like Seth and the ones that are really behind the scenes doing all the work. It's like it's such a wonderful honor for us to be able to you know have our face out there and our name out there and to be able to help however we can financially whatever it is to be a part of this and to you know to give as much as we can so to be awarded for it I mean it, it's it's wonderful it really is Why this organization what is it about the thirst project that you love so much it's innovation you know I mean with this organization I love that they, they went straight for the youth they went for the kids the people that they're not guarded yet you know they're not thinking sensibly yet which you gotta love too you know they stay young and they're and, and they just they get a passion they get a fire they get tunnel vision and they go for it and you know it, they can really affect change and I think also the the fact that the youth you know sometimes they kind of feel overlooked you know and here they can really do something and Seth is just such an inspirational person you know and he looks like he's 12 so it works out really well he really appeals to the youth what tips do you have for people, whether dealing with water conservation or just problems in the world in general, for young people to get involved? I think just get knowledge, like really learn about what's going on around the world because yeah. that's really what starts and spreads passion towards it. And once you, it, it's easy to like say, oh yes, there's a there's a global water crisis. How sad. It's another thing to say, I'm really learning about these statistics and seeing it firsthand or seeing it on you know television or the internet or whatever it is. Like there's so many different ways that you can really raise awareness for it and, and inside in that will ignite a passion. I think that's what really makes change. Say I love your new hairdo. What inspired that? Just your time off or just for fun? He did. I did. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, but just kind of never really had the guts to do it. And and he's he's like really She caught up the show and then she's like, alright, she's like, I'm gonna do something crazy. And so she goes in for the hair that day, I call, she's I'm like so what am I, I'm expecting short hair or something. She comes home, she's like dyed it a little more red. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You always wanted to cut your hair short, go for it. And and she did, you know what, without hesitation, she's like, you're right, snip, that was it. A lot of people are missing you on the show already, but what are you looking forward to with your time off? Spending time with my family, getting to know my kids again. <laughs> you know, going on a date or two with this guy and like, just, just to be, you know, be home, be a part of everything more, like on a regular basis, and then to just take some time with my husband and, and be able to come up with things that we're really passionate about, projects that we want to work projects, on together, yeah. and things that we've got kind of in the works that we can't wait to see to come to fruition. When, when your son comes to you, in which he did, he came to her and goes, Mom, you know, I've been thinking, um, you should quit your job. And she's like, what? And she's like, well, because we don't see you. You know, and so it, it, that's a it's a good you know. it's an indication of like it's good I need a break. <laughs> thank you for supporting. My gosh, over over all these years, just thank you. We're, we're grateful. We're humbled, and um, just keep looking, you know, for the next thing because it's going to be awesome. That's right.